Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm showing you a path I made of the Enderlin, North Dakota tornado that happened on June 20th, 2025. And so here is the, the damage analysis toolkit already has like a path with all the damage indicators and all that. And this is, this is where I got the information from, but it's not really interactive. Like you can't see the exact information and like what the houses look like structurally so here is where the tornado started but like i forgot what time it was but it was like around like 12 a.m and so it started here it just caused ef zero damage to a tree a hardwood tree somewhere around this area right here and then it continued down the path uh, widening almost immediately very rapidly strengthening into a large wedge tornado um missing a farmhouse just by a little bit and here it got over like got up to a mile wide and caused damage ef1 damage of uh either 95 or 110 miles per hour i forgot uh yeah hold on yeah it was 95 uh here i'll add that to the notes in a second but ef195 mile per hour damage to a metal building system and then after that it came up to these train tracks where a pro car P Rocks train came here and uh it got thrown three hundred feet. In June first on Twitter, Ethan Moriety, uh he did a calculation and it requires two hundred and it's just a rough uh calculation, like an estimate, but it's still a calculation. Even unloaded, the trains were proven to be unloaded. It would take at least 264 mile per hour winds to throw it that far and it it only had like two drag marks it wasn't rolled it was actually like lofted and then at this point it reached peak width of 1.1 miles wide and then continued to um produce damage to some more hardwood trees causing a uh, ef3 143 mile per hour winds damage under the ef scale and then it came up on a uh metal pole or um power line system causing 133 mile per hour winds uh ef2 damage and then more ef3 tree damage we don't know the exact estimate yet this is still kind of preliminary i'll give you all more updates and then it came up on the uh house right here it's EF3 plus DOD10. DOD10 means at least 165 mile per hour winds, and FR12 means um family residence. And it's a two story building or just a large, a large building that's well con well constructed. It doesn't have to be two stories, but anyway, um, it looks like they are probably gonna write more areas like along here if they do a more in depth rating, so we can get the actual like path what the wind speeds were like without i mean not without throughout the path and then it came up on this tree right here it hasn't been rated yet but after that it caused hardwood tree damage to this i think it briefly weakened here but it caused hardwood damage ef1 107 miles per hour after that, it came up on another house that was rated fr12 ef3 plus dod10 which is basically the same thing as the other house same explanation it's at least going to be rated 165 unless they downgrade it here is a um residence like an fr12 i forgot here i'm going to do a more in-depth explanation i'll give you all photos in a second but i'm just explaining the base level stuff here i'll do a documentary within the next few months but here's it caused here's where it caused ef2 damage to a residence and then it continued crossing this creek right here causing uh it started to get smaller we're gonna write this but i don't know what it is yet probably like ef zero but then after that it came up on another family residence this guy i think this was the home where the national weather service added a note that said the oh, homeowner homeowner died five years ago um rest in peace to him but yeah the house was not very well constructed and it caused pretty bad damage to it. Like I think it was reduced to rubble, but I just don't. I didn't. I don't think it had good anchoring. And then it continued down the path, causing a uh, electric t 
tower line, or no, like just metal poles, like a metal pole system. Uh, EF three damage one thirty eight, and then um. TH EF zero one eighty, which is here's where it weakened, to EF zero strength. And it just continued over some buildings, and then caused uh EF zero damage before lifting. Um. I'll do a more in-depth analysis within the next few months, but here's just my map that I made. 